Well, isn't that a lot of magnets? Oh, wait, there's more below? All right, let's talk about this. My sister and I are obsessed with magnets, so we've been growing our collection here. We have New Hampshire, where you went there as kids. Lost in Space, classic TV show. I triple dog dare ya. Remember not to stick your tongue to a pole, kids. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I know it's supposed to be a photo frame, but I just like the picture inside. I don't really want to, like, put anything in there. The NFL Experience. Uh, so this was something in New York. It didn't last too long. So, as you can see, it was in Times Square. Um, I only went, they did, like, a free day. And then I remember the tickets were, like, really expensive. Um, but you would go look at stuff about, you know, the NFL, and then you would watch a little, like, documentary-type movie thing in a, I think it was called a 4D theater, so it was, like, an experience, and I remember in the movie, like, it would snow, and then they made fake snow come down with a projector, it was really cool. Nausicaa, Valley of the Wind, me and my sister loved that growing up. Little poker chip from Foxwoods, and it's the Hard Rock Cafe. Another poker chip, and then the Christmas Spectacular at Radio City with the Rockettes. I'm so happy that that's back this year. So excited to go. I Heart NY from the M&M store. This Broadway one, I think, I, I'm trying to remember, I think this was from either, it was either some kind of tourist shop at the Hotel Pennsylvania or it was in Penn Station. Some more classics, we have the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. The original Charlie's Angels, the Brady Bunch, and of course the Partridge family. I want to try and see if I can get one where, like, it's where it's a photo of them. I was at Rhode Island Comic Con and this is the one I saw, so this is what I grabbed. Macy's, you know, once again in New York City, there's Santa. So here we have All in the Family, and I don't know if it exists, but another classic from around that time, you know, which is way before my time, I'm born in 1993, I want to try and see if they have good times. And then also maybe there was another one I used to watch called What's Happening, just shows that my parents passed on to me. Toy Story, Uncle Buck, and Willy Wonka. And we have the Iron Giant. My sister and I love the Iron Giant so much that we actually have two on here. I don't know, it was just one of my favorite an one of my favorite animated films growing up. I just it was just so cool. I tried to make little sections, but I also had to deal with where the magnets fit. So here we have an 80s section. We have the Breakfast Club and 16 Candles. Moving over. All of a sudden it's the 90s and we have Home Alone and Boy Meets World and the Rugrats movie and Rocco's Modern Life. Um, backtracking to Boy Meets World, I they did have Saved by the Bell magnets when I was there, but I just I was just buying so many magnets. Like I think my sister bought like four and I bought like six. So I, I had to like calm it down, but I definitely need to get like a Saved by the Bell magnet and then I would put it next to Boy Meets World. Harry Potter, we have Hogwarts Express, Platform 9 and 3 quarters, and actually way below on the second door we have, so a little pendant for Hogwarts, and then we have Gryffindor, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, and Ravenclaw. Then we have some Connecticut magnets, because that's where I'm from. I believe I got these at the New Haven train station. And then we have a... Roger Williams Park Zoo magnet. I went there on a college trip. I just liked it. We have another New York City magnet. Coca-Cola, because I'm obsessed with soda. And then Pepsi. I don't like it as much, but I felt like I needed both brands. This is also from Rhode Island. I believe I got this magnet at a hotel. And... Then, you know, there's Arnold and Gerald. Those are some magnets from my Nick box. Um, I need to, like, glue Gerald back on. The little hands are coming off. I don't remember where this first magnet came from, but, you know, it says the New Yorker. I know I got it in New York. I'm just not sure. 
Actually, you know what? As I look at it, I probably got it at the library because the other one's a photo of the library and they both say the New Yorker. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure I got them at the library. We got the Muppets. You can't beat the Muppets. Back to the Future. I know, like... So I've been rearranging things. I just realized I should probably try to put it in my 80s section. But I've also been working with, like, color schemes. I don't I don't think doing it by decade is totally going to work. Like, having everything from the same decade just because certain colors and um, shapes complement each other. And then there's Beauty and the Beast. Oh, so this big one is is from the New York Public Library. There used to be little, like, papers, just like this front one in the back, but my sister kept needing to make little lists. So we're just going to keep this first one. And then this is from Rhode Island. I believe it's from the same hotel that I got the fresh lobster one from. Oh, and before I forget, we have the Peanuts and Toys R Us. I actually got to go on one of their last days. Um, the one I went to was in Milford, Connecticut. It was just so sad to see everything going. I remember they were going to try and come back as Jeffrey's Toy Box, I think it was. I'm sure the pandemic kind of like halted those plans. So we'll see what happens. Well, guys, those are my magnets so far. Um, you know the drill. If I don't have a comment section, this will be posted on my social media links that you can see below, and you can comment there. All right, see you guys next time.